So now that we got the the bait ball kit unpacked, we're going to get into how to build the, the bait ball. So we're going to start by opening up our bag of oatmeal. And then we're just going to dump, we're going to dump about half a bag in to start with. If you're doing a whole field, you could dump in the whole bag. Now we're going to add a little bit of honey. So you're going to have to take the safety seal off. Lid back on. I'm just going to squirt some in on top. Now the only thing that you'll need to supply when you do your bait ball kit is going to be a bottle of the water or a water source. And we're just going to pour a little bit in on top just so the oatmeal can soak it up, soak that up. And I'm just gonna start to mix it now. So I can already tell I'm gonna need a little bit more water. And what we're mixing here for is just so that everything will stick together. see that it is kind of nice and pasty now so it's holding its form so now that's going to be a good consistency that we can use to to build the bait ball so to build the bait ball and just reach in grab a little bit and then just start to kind of squeeze it together back and forth I like to make make mine about the size of a of a tennis ball or somewhere in that that size and you can see it's going to hold its shape nice and good so that's a nice consistency So now that we got the bait ball made, um, I'm just going to throw it off to the side and I'm going to squeeze out and form as many bait balls as I can get out of this partial bag. So when you're bait balling a field, what you want to, what I like to look for when I go in the bait ball field, if it's in a field that I think has wireworm history or wireworm damage in the past, normally in those areas um, where the wireworms are, you're going to see more weeds. And the reason you're going to see more weeds is usually because the wireworms will, will attack your crop and reduce your crop competition. So you're gonna end up with more weeds in those areas. So those are gonna be the areas that I like to, to bait ball first and look for when I come out and scout a field. Good spot to uh, put them in. Um, number of wireworm bait balls you wanna do can vary. Uh, I usually like to do about eight to 12 per field. Some people like to do more, but I try and spread them out in, in the areas where I think there's gonna be wireworms and uh, what we do is, is just, uh, once we identify, identify those spots, we'll dig holes about, oh, about 10 inches deep, and we'll just set the, the bait ball in on top, or into the hole, and then I like to put the pin flag right through the bait ball, and then fill that hole back in, so that the pin flag goes right through the bait ball, because when you come back to dig it up, sometimes if uh, your pin flag is off to the side, it just makes it a lot easier to, to find the bait ball when you're, when you're digging it up. So. So now I've completed, completed making those bait balls and I ended up with, with seven it looks like.